how's it going? This is Malachias with uh, Warfighter Heirloom Gardens and from the table, or from the garden to the table the organic way. Today we're making pickles. These are cucumbers that we grew in our garden. And we have non-iodized sea salt, dill, which I have dill growing but it's not ready yet. Vinegar, pepper, and then a mason jar with the lid and water. We use purified water from our refrigerator. And so here's how we get going. I'm going to start out with uh, cutting my pickle discs. And I also have my daughter Solea cleaning the, the garlic that we're going to use. And uh, if I remember correctly, honey, remind me, um, this is actually a recipe you found online that you modified. Yeah. Basically, the ingredients as you ran through them. Uh, two two things I want to point out on the um, sea salt. It you can use um, pickling salt. You can use basically any kind of salt that is not iodized, as long as there's no iodide iodine in it. Iodide. Iodide. I said that right the first yeah. time. <laughs> and um, the vinegar, you should get the distilled white vinegar. Um, I suppose if you wanted to use a different kind of vinegar, I suppose it would be okay. I'd look that up though. You can also use kosher salt. Yep, K kosher salt is also as long as there's as long as it's not iodine. Right. This one Paige picked yesterday from the garden. Absolutely. Oh, it looks so yummy. It's so crisp too. It's just like popping underneath the under the knife blade. I think we may have more than we need for the jar too. I'm gonna cut it all up anyway though. Yeah. We'll use, whatever we don't, we'll use for salads or something. You know, when we lived in Fort Stewart, the uh, cucumbers didn't get so big. The uh, the plants didn't get as big as they are here. For some reason, here in Tennessee, they have gone absolutely nuts. Uh, I planted only a couple more plants than I had, and I even have a bigger area now, um, and they have taken over. Like they, are, they choked out all of our peas. Like none of our peas made it because of it. They shaded them so bad from the sun. Um, our carrots are still doing really well though. And then uh, the squashes are healthy but they're not producing like the, the plants there but they're not really throwing out any, any fruit so so next year knowing how they produce here in Tennessee I'm going to pr plant less of them in the same box so all right so everything's cut now I'm gonna take my my garlic and I gotta clean that one hold on yeah you want to cut those into you don't want it to be like minced but you don't want it to be too big of chunks Kinda almost minced. Okay. So I cut them really thin. And, and then you can probably cut those in half. Right. With, yeah. I'm actually going to do like that. So, will you go close the door to the washing room? Today. Thank you, baby. dried ends off where it was connected at the uh, the base of the plant. Oh, that one barely even has one. There we go. <laughs> yeah, so this one I won't even have to cut in half. I'm just going to get a disc on it because mm -hmm. it's small enough. And the fun thing about working with garlic when you're cutting it like that instead of using a mincer 
is that your fingers get all nice and sticky. It's, oh, it's yeah. almost like glue. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Put that lengthwise once, then I won't have to make that incision. That way it's all pre-done. garlic mincer but it makes it so small and you lose a lot of the juices that mm -hmm. way and you don't want to lose the juices so there's my garlic all right and I've never made these Paige is actually going to talk me through them because she doesn't like being on camera I'm going to suggest a couple more uh, cloves of garlic because that doesn't really look like enough Want to get some more? So, can you grab some more garlic? Yeah. Go ahead and um, let's finish up the rest of what's on there. Where is it? On top on of the, the back stove. Of the stove. Hold on. So, this is what we have left. I'm gonna break that bottom off, and then Soleil is gonna clean them. Four, five, six, maybe. Yeah, they're little. So. Oh, yeah, um, see, it's all sticking to my fingers yeah. now. You can rinse your fingers off. So I guess we'll just uh, use a couple of the big ones first and see where we're at with that. And if we have to, we'll use the little ones. And if not, I'll save them for something. Right. So, okay, while we're waiting on her to do that, how about fill in the So, yeah, jar. how much am I putting in here? Okay, we're going to fill it up to, hold on, no. Yeah, yeah that's it. Uh, the 100 mark, so. Right there, okay. The 100 milliliters of the gallon. Which is, it doesn't, oh, the 100, it doesn't the say odd 100? numbers don't have numbers. So, the even numbers are labeled. So, and this is a 800, well, it's probably thousand. a thousand, yeah. Um, mason jar. Okay, and then after I fill it with the um, vinegar, then I go ahead and fill it up to probably about the 400, maybe a little in between the 400 and the 500 with water so that we have room to put in the cucumbers, the garlic, the dill, and pepper. So I'll go halfway between. And then the great thing about this, the way Paige's recipe is, is that everything is flavored to taste. Like all our ingredients are going to be, like when we start adding the uh, the garlic and the pepper and the, the dill and all that, it's all depending on how we want it to taste. So we're going to taste the, the brine in here. We're going to taste it as we go. Mm -hmm. Which, and, and keep in mind though, as it, it, it's supposed to sit for three days, okay? So that's important. After you're done making it, it sits for three days. But keep in mind that the garlic is going to be more potent. It's going to so, ferment a little. Yeah. yeah. So after that three days, so you, I mean, like... For the average person, this is probably enough. We like garlic. Though. We do like garlic. We are huge garlic fans in this house, so we should have been Italian, which I think <laughs> I think we have some some Italian in us somewhere. Um, I know I do. Probably Asian too, because <laughs> we like Asian food. <laughs> I think we should. Yeah, I don't think there's a style of food we haven't tried, that, or that we've tried that we haven't liked yet. I had some Iraqi food, of course, when I was in Iraq, and it was kind of bland. They don't use a lot of flavor. But it's very filling. Very filling. Very, very filling, though. I'll give you that. I was not hungry when I walked away. But it may be because, you know, here in the States, you know, we're eating in the fast food restaurants, and we're eating at all these places that they use the all that salt and everything that uh, to the point where it's like we're maybe we're almost over-flavored, so that when we eat that food like that, it's we're to a point where it's... You know, um, it's the way it should taste, but we're so used to having such an overabundance of flavor because of all the salt and the additives to our food and stuff like that that it becomes, it, to us, it seems bland. I think this should be good. Let me see. Yeah, this 
do one more. Okay. All right, Slay, so you're good. Yeah, you don't have to do the rest of these. All right, so last one. See that? See those little itty bitty cucumbers? I'm going to steal one. No, no, no. Can <laughs> oh. I steal one? Mm hmm. Okay, I'm stealing a little itty bitty one too. I think I just ate some. Oh, it's so crisp. Mm. That's the one I picked up this morning. Sweet, too. Mm. I hated cucumbers as a kid. <laughs> and I'll be honest, like when we go to like Subway or we go to any kind of restaurant that's not organic or yeah. buying fresh produce or whatever. They have no flavor. They're so bland. It's just water. It's like you're tasting water. These have, they, cucumbers have their own flavor. Yeah. It's amazing. And, and they're yummy. So, okay, so I have 100 milliliters of white wine or white vinegar, right? Distilled mm -hmm. white vinegar. Distilled. I filled it up just a teeny bit over halfway um, for, uh, with water, which again, we use purified water. So now what am I going to do now? Talk now you're just going to kind of shove some um, cucumbers in there till you can't fit any more. Okay. Well, you got to leave a little room for that. Actually, go ahead and put the uh, garlic in now. Put, put all the garlic. Mm. All right, you're going to get messy, so don't be all squeamish about it either. Just, mm -hmm. go, just dive in with both hands. Get it done. So I'm gonna add more pickles. Um, how about you mean some dill? cucumbers? Or cucum <laughs> They're gonna be pickles. <laughs> shut, shut, lady. All right. So more cucumbers. Yep. How about the dill? Should I add some dill? Nope, not yet. Okay, not yet. Because we're gonna still need to put some more water in there. So oh, we'll true. just top it off with the dill and the pepper. Oh, I think this is actually gonna be just enough. Mm. We may not have enough. Yeah. Did oh. you? Cut up, cut, yeah, cut up the gimpy one? Yeah, I cut up the gimpy one too. And there's not oh. enough, there's not any more oh, out no. there. So, I mean, that's enough. We can still do it, but okay. we're definitely not. No, no, no. Mm -mm. You want me to top it off? Top it off after we put the right. pepper in the. So. We want to, well, you can add a little more water, but well, we want. You take a look too, because you're the one that's the expert at this. I'm just the new guy. <laughs> you tell me when Don't you're. Don't be shy. Tell, just, well, tell me when you're happy. So again, it's not like we're not doing tablespoon measurements or anything like that. And that should be okay. Yeah, a little more. Okay, yeah. Then I'm gonna top it off. Yeah. Well, so let tip out here because if we need to put any more. Right. Yeah. Okay. Now and then what I'm gonna the do? Put the lid on it. I'm gonna do this. It. I'm gonna shake it up. Shake it up. Shake it up, baby. <laughs> shake it up. So the cool thing is now, is, is, here's the coolest part though, is because we're not just getting pickled cucumbers, which made our pickles discs, right? We're getting pickled garlic as well. Because the garlic chunks, you can eat them. I mean, everything in here is edible. So when we're done, like our son will drink the water out of it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. He thinks it's But it's good for heartburn. He drinks ketchup. He, he, yeah, he thinks it's a drink, a Kool-Aid or something. <laughs> Pickle right, flavor so Kool-Aid. That's, that's a pretty good mix. We're gonna take that off and I'll give Paige her first taste. Okay, I taste a lot of vinegar. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, salt. Oh! We didn't add the salt. We're putting salt in there. See, this is why we taste it. <laughs> salt! Okay. okay. Um, you wanna put like around a tablespoon, give or take? Tablespoon? Yeah. Roughly about a tablespoon. Yeah, Very roughly. Close. I learned that from Yen Can Cook, actually. I usually add a tad bit more, depending. Well, well, yeah, but you're. But we don't have as many cucumbers you're crazy this about time. Salt, dude. <laughs> I think if I bought a salt lick, you would. No. Okay. Make a pickles! Mixed up, so. Nope. This is the first one. No, it's the same one. It's yours. Yeah. We're a family here. I understand that, but for sanitary reasons, we're. <laughs> we're not selling this yet. If it was in a restaurant. There we go. That's better. Yeah. Okay, so let me try it because I want to know what the taste is supposed to be like now. Yes, I will give you some too. Oh my 
Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I think the garlic's just perfect. You might want to put a little more dill. Oh, it smells good, too. I'm going to say a little more dill. I'm going to agree with you on yeah. that. Come on, so I'll let you have a taste. Orange. <laughs> Orange. You say what? Pickle and sour. <laughs> but it's good. Yeah, I'm gonna say more dill. Now, normally I would be using, or we would be using fresh dill from our garden. Yep. That's good. And you won't need as much because it's so much more, it's so much stronger because it, it hasn't dried out, so none of your resin's gone. All your oils are still there, so it's fresh, and so all of that just mixes directly in. Oh, it's so much better. You don't need, you don't need half as much. So, yeah, the garlic was perfect amount, I think. Yeah, and then you can put sprigs of garlic in there. Mm -hmm. I mean, not sprigs of garlic, sprigs of uh, dill. The yep. whole the whole like stalk stems, and everything, yeah. yeah. All right. All right, well, we're down to three spoons, so this so, better be right. <laughs> yeah, right? You're gonna add, you're gonna top it off with water, too. Perfect. Yum, yum. <laughs> Tastes like a dill pickle? It tastes like a pickle, yeah. All right. It's kosher. It's kosher, pickle. <laughs> kosher dude. Oh, yeah. So, here's the cool part. Watch this. So, oh, yeah, hold on. I'm going to top it off. I'm going to top it off. I'm going to fill it almost all the way up. Mm hmm. About right there. And then, here's the cool part. After I've done shaking it. Three days from now, those will be pickles. And periodically, what you need to do is put it upside down, shake it, shake it, flip it. You know, just let everything kind of, because everything settles at the bottom. And here's the cool part. And here we have a batch we, made. we made three days ago. So let's get a fork. <laughs> oh, who put that on? I didn't put that on. That was me. <laughs> oh, my wife is beast. <laughs> What's up with that? Uh oh. What did you do? Let's not do anything anyway. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you can't open the pickle jar. <laughs> my wife, mind you, her hands are not that strong. Well, I have weak wrists. Yeah. So how you got it that tight is really blowing my mind right now. I, I put my, uh, you know, put the bicep up. into it, you know. <laughs> Can I help? <laughs> oh, that's how it does something. There we go. I loosened it for me. <laughs> so. First bite. Let's see. Oh, I hope it's good. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of garlic in that one. Wow. So, we're going to have these tonight with our chicken and our brats. So we're doing chicken and brats for 4th of July. So happy 4th of July, everybody. America. <laughs> I can say that because, you know, I'm a veteran. So, um, again, we have the ones we just made, the ones that are ready to eat. And, uh, oh, also we harvested a bunch. Where did the little jar go? You put it away, didn't you? Yes, I did. Uh, lemon balm. I dehydrated a whole thing of lemon balm. Come on, the light is... Okay, sorry. And so what I did not do, though, when I put the lemon balm in, because I did a lot of research on the line about it, is I did not crush the leaves up as much. Like, I didn't grind them down. I left them whole, so that way a lot of the resin and the powder and everything stays in the leaf. So the flavor stays more robust. Um, and then I have a bunch, and by a bunch, I mean a bunch, of this laid out on paper bags. Um, in about a couple more hours here, I'm going to hang it in the garage on the wall. I'm going to put tufts together about five or six at a time like this, let them hang and let them dry. Um, and then we'll put them in, in paper bags and seal them up. And we'll have lemon balm. And lemon balm was good. We made some tea today with fresh leaves. Yum. Really good. I'm, so, I'm really surprised. I didn't need any sugar. I didn't need any Splenda. I didn't need, which Splenda's crap anyway. Um, 
So is sweet and low and equal? I prefer stevia or trivia. Well, and the um, blend of sweet and low is um, yeah, any of that poisonous. Is, it's, it's bad for your health. Yeah, so we, we use either... Eat your brain. We use either uh, granulated cane sugar that's been unrefined, um, turbinado, or we use uh, stevia. So, but really, really good. And so many benefits. Like, putting it in your garden alone... Honey. Oh, putting it in honey, yeah. Honey is good. But putting the lemon balm in your garden alone keeps the uh, mosquitoes away, keeps biting insects away. Um, and then it also has benefits from what I'm on, we're reading up on right now about dementia, Alzheimer's, um, and other situations like that. So it's got brain function properties, things like that. So um, lemon balm, and I have, like I said, it grows like a wildfire. It's so easy to grow. I haven't done, I've literally done nothing to it. And it has just grown like crazy. So um, thanks for watching. Have a happy 4th of July. God bless.